What is up guys? Welcome to another Behind the Curve Reacts. And today we are taking another look at Matilda the Musical. And this is going to be Bruce or the Bruce song. Uh, it's essentially gonna be the scene where he eats the big ass chocolate cake in front of the whole school. Uh, and I'm really excited about this for two different reasons. Uh, reason the first, this is gonna be the first scene from the musical that like directly goes along with a scene from the movie, from the Danny DeVito, Mara Wilson movie, uh, which will be fun because that is one of my favorite childhood movies. And the school song and Revolting Children don't really have, you know, like a, a, an equivalent in that old movie. So it should be fun for that, but I am expecting it to be incredibly different. You know, it's gone through so many different mediums. You know, it was a book, then it was turned into a movie, then it was turned into a musical, then that musical was then turned into a movie. And, you know, I, definitely, you know, artistic liberties will be taken and I'm cool with that. But the other thing I'm really excited about is that we will finally get to see Miss Trunchbull. She was not in either of the other two numbers that I checked out. So that should be really fun. Like she was, she was like the villain in my nightmares as a child. So. It should be really interesting to see exactly what they do with her. Like she was a straight up monster back in back in the 90s. I did not even want to sleep for fear of the chokey. So yeah, this should be a lot of fun. Plus a lot of you have requested this. So I'm assuming it's gotta be good. <laughs> so thank you all so much for watching and let's go ahead and check it out. Eat. Eat. <laughs> okay. Okay, this has nothing to do with the number or anything like that. I don't think that that cake looks as good as it looked in the Danny DeVito musical. It looks like too perfect. That other one was just like this mixture of just like the moistest looking chocolatey diabetes inducing cake you've ever seen. That looks almost a little bit too professionally done. That's okay, the number just started. Let's see what else we got. Between you and it, there's not a lot of difference in size. He can't, he can't, he surely can't, he surely can't. You are the man, Bruce. He might explode, he's quite elastic. He I love all the kids dancing right behind this trunch bowl. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> God I was not expecting this <laughs> So are the kids the only people that can see this? What is happening? Oh no! <laughs> Weird. Okay, all right, okay. So I'm just gonna go ahead and say this. The mistrunchful definitely seems less 
over the top threatening than than she looked in the '90s movies, and not just looks less threatening, but I'm gonna say is less threatening because there is no way in the Danny DeVito movie Miss Honey ever would have done that. Like she was so scared of Miss Drunchbull. And I don't know, maybe that's more true to the Roald Dahl book, which I'm not going to lie, I have not read in a lot longer time than I want to admit that I've even been alive. So that that could be. And it's kind of sad, though, because, I mean, her being so unbelievably scary was a large part of my childhood. So I don't know. I don't know. Let me know. Like, what do, what do you guys think about her? About at least in this number, the portrayal of Miss Trudgeball. It's like instead of looking like an actual monster, she just looks like somebody who had to work around kids for decades, man. Like, she just looked like she was so done with this bullshit. And honestly, I gotta give her a little bit of credit for that little bit of respect there. Uh, but I am assuming, though, in the rest of the movie, she is probably a lot more threatening. I don't know if there's really a way to make the chokey not super threatening. Uh, but yeah, I was definitely not expecting the big, like, theatrical twist, you know, halfway through this number, man. Like, that transition from... I don't know, normalcy to like the Matilda's powers with the shiny jackets and all the lights. <laughs> that was so much fun. And honestly, kind of reminded me a lot of how Chicago uh, would do things like that in the movie version, where it would be, you know, whoever in prison, real drab clothes, you know, whatever. And then boom, all of a sudden, you know, you're in the middle of a giant number. You got these real kick-ass costumes on. The lighting is really cool. Like, yeah, that moment reminded me an awful lot of Chicago, which only made me happy, you know? <laughs> like this, this was just a really, really fun number. And that slow motion, like cherry flick there at the end. Oh man, that was Perfect. That was just perfect. Uh, now, I will say, though, I am a little worried as to what is going to happen to Bruce uh, now that this number is over. Uh, we all remember what happened to Bruce in the movie. Oh, that was brutal. And just shutting the entire, like, auditorium of kids up with that. Oh, it's so scary. Just thinking about it again. Oh, anyway, yeah. Again, very, very good number. Uh, very much different than Revolting Children and the school song. Uh, you know, less with the outrageously awesome choreography, or at least less with the really big choreography. What they had here with the kids in the background was still very, very well done. I don't know who the choreographer was for this, or if it's the same person that it was on the West End or on Broadway, but they are doing an amazing job. Whether or not it is something really big and outrageous like Revolting Children, or something that all takes place in a lunchroom like Bruce, they are able to really do a great job. And, you know, with Revolting Children at least, do a great, great job at transferring all of the energy from a stage show to a movie which is very difficult to do, but yeah. So far for Matilda, three for three. Ah, I can't wait to watch this whole thing. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching and for requesting this on the other Matilda reactions. And I'll see you all in another reaction very soon.